Hello and welcome to My Secret Santa 2020 action figure review for Marvel Legends Custom Black Knight Modern Templar. Uh, if you watched all the videos, I appreciate you doing so and sticking with me to this point. If you are just watching this one to get to the meat and potatoes, I appreciate that too. So thank you so, so much. This is what we've seen you know, in the previous videos of what I used as a base and what I came up with. Ah, the glare! So if you can kind of see side by side, I really tried to make those... Um, you know, pretty much the same, the same layout and everything. I had to kind of move the heads over just a little bit from what was there. Um, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Nothing terribly simple, just basically used black packing foam. Um, cut a slit in the back here so this actually slips in and out. Um, makes it look like the hook and then basically adhered the front of this to the packaging and then put some Velcro on there. So what you can do is you can actually open it on up. So as far as the cape goes, I um, reached out to Greg over at Alternate Head, one of the customizers that got me into customizing. I um, was very, very grateful he got back to me on Instagram and reached out with some questions about how to go about doing the cape on him. Um, in my opinion, Greg is the best I've ever seen about doing soft goods on figures. He's amazing. Um, you can check him out on Instagram at Greg with good hair or his channel on YouTube alternate head. Um, but I was very, very, very grateful and said to uh, get a response from him, have him help me out a little bit. Um, a little bit of brainstorming between the two of us. Um, what I came up with was uh, an actual chenille pipe cleaner for the um, fur around the cape here. The thing I like about it is it has metal in it, right? So it can bend around if you know if it happens to not look in quite right or what you need you can kind of bend it to form against the figure so the pauldron was sculpted with procreate and then once again airbrushed dry brushed um, to get that kind of look on there but um, what Greg suggested I did was basically just start painting the cape while it was on the figure and then as it's getting wet brushed start creating your fold so once the folds dry you kind of have this natural folded organic look that you got going on here um, that just kind of fits and flows naturally with the figure um, the sword actually helps keep it in as well um, but it's not necessary to have the sword to um, get the cape to stick so pretty easy removable the back of the helmet actually also helps hold that on as well um, after i was done with the uh, wet brushing I went through and just did a little bit of airbrushing black over what was there um, just to kind of give it some dimension in the folds and creases to give it some shadows and whatnot um, and then I actually just used uh, graphite to come in and kind of dye the chenille stick a little bit so it um, didn't look funky having paint over something so soft so pretty easily removable so just kind of tilt the head down a little bit and it pretty much just lifts right off and you see it maintains its form and then we have our black knight here ready for battle um, he doesn't pose terribly well with the um, cape you know just because certain poses and stuff because it is so stiff it has a tendency to want to um, come off but um, ultimately great for just kind of standing there looking like a badass so um, I'd gone back and forth on the belt here um, wasn't quite sure exactly what to do I was gonna basically just adhere it um, due to time restraints but I managed to actually kind of sort of get ahead so um, ended up making it removable because all the paintwork I did underneath I didn't want you know that to just be gone because I glued the belt over it so what I did was um, I actually sculpted a magnet into the belt here, so as you can see, it just basically removes back and forth, and then the belt will easily just slip off. So, as mentioned in the previous videos, was the first time I have ever worked with the butterfly joint to make the arm actually go back and forth as well as up and down. Uh, turned out really well. Actually, I ended up sculpting the um, epoxy 
over that butterfly joint and then once it um, cured I heated it up and then basically broke the two apart so I still had that separation I uh, didn't actually paint that piece it came from the Johnny Storm figure um, so it was just basically a black base I knew if it was gonna be rubbing a little bit I didn't want to put paint on it because that would um, obviously rub off and then look crappy so um, the arms were from the Serpent Society figures. So they are green underneath, so I was very cognizant about trying to dremel out where I needed to to make sure that we didn't get that paint rub. You know, when we lifted the arms up, um, same thing as the rotation on both sides. And then obviously we have our elbow joints as well. Um, you can still see little hints of green here and there through some of the joints but it's really not noticeable you really have to be looking for it so now that i mentioned it you know my recipient will probably see it but um one thing that was really challenging was dremeling out the um, torso here to where we could still maintain the ab crunch and not ruin that paint there so it actually works in the back as well i'm gonna go ahead and remove the sword you took my father's sword Sorry. Um, and as you can see in the back here, once again, I sculpted that to where we don't have any joint rub there. Right, he has no waist rotation. He does rotate at the hips without these side pieces of gold armor doing any kind of um, rubbing, paint rubbing there. So I was very cognizant of that as well. We have rotation on the upper thigh. Still maintain the double knee joints without paint rub and then what I ended up doing there was actually a joint in the um, mid calf as well I decided to um, actually leave that out and sculpt over it just because of the decorative pieces on the front of the armor here I thought it would look really strange you know if it was twisting and moving around so I sacrificed that articulation but as you can see we still are able to move this and then move your feet as well. We used epoxy pretty much for almost all the armor um, on the legs, on the knees, on the body, and then obviously on the back here too. Um, the part over the hands, as you can see the hands move, yet we still have that armor. Um, this part here was actually done with Procreate, so it's got a little flex to it, a little bit of give, so it shouldn't in theory break you know if we're moving this guy around and posing him and whatnot and then the actual bird of prey <laughs> in my previous videos never did the research I don't know if it's a hawk eagle falcon dodo bird but um, did that detail in there with green stuff um, kind of learned that I actually had to do it in layers let it dry I was trying to do the feathers all at once and just really didn't look that great so um, once I let it dry into layers, uh, I think they turned out pretty, pretty darn cool. Um, same thing on the knees. You see the two heads there. They're actually upside down. And then a little bit of feathers sculpted in there. So I feel I got the symmetry fairly close on those. Um, they're a little bit off, but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. So um, one thing with the feet here we got a lot going on you know so when i sculpted the um ah, knocking over my light the detail on the shin guards um when the foot does bend left and right you just be a little bit aware it shouldn't rub if you don't bend it too far but there's a possibility that it could so definitely with that much sculpt going on there's going to be times where Things like that may happen so um, as far as the heads go we have obviously four different heads
right, so as mentioned, I had a little bit of extra time um, just because of delay in getting my list. I was able to craft up something extra for him. So what is a knight without a horse? Uh oh, here we go again. <laughs> so apparently, this is what I do now on Secret Santa, is, you know, if you get a, you get a figure, you get a horse, you know, right? Like, like, you get a horse, you get a horse. I'm going to be like, get my, my list next year and have like, you know, like Charles Xavier on it. You know, I want to put Charles on a horse, right? Like, you know, you, you, he needs a wheelchair. No, no, no. He's getting a horse. He's getting a horse. X-Horse. Used a little bit of epoxy to do the armor here. This is actually procreate underneath the top on the head. And then once again, use the green stuff to sculpt the bird on there, as well as the logo. Um, shout out to my beautiful wife I had suggested I actually put those on there to actually match the shin guards and then obviously keep with the um, bird on there to go with the bird theme. This came from a Lord of the Rings horse from the Ring Wraith, I believe. Um, one thing that was, let's see if I can turn this up a bit here. Kind of cool. I've had this figure for years. Um, this horse for years and I had no idea when I was in the middle of sculpting him his eyes turned red like so help me god this thing's possessed right and then I realized there was a battery cover but had to research it online but actually if you pull the reins eyes turn red and his mouth opens too so pretty cool there and then like most of these it has the button in the back for the prancing but um, just thought it'd be really cool to have something else you know and to go with this Secret Santa gift just like last year with Jane um, for my recipient being that I had a little time for something extra because hey it's Christmas right the hell so I'm very happy with this I really feel all around it's the best figure I've ever done which is my goal anytime I do a figure but this one was so involved with such little time to do I really feel I pulled it off um, and once again just really really hope that my recipient is stoked so you can find me on Instagram at Squall Dravens to see some of those pictures I took um, actually in the snow. So please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Um, hopefully many, many more of these Secret Santas to come in the future. So thank you so much for watching, for checking this out and sticking with me all this time. I appreciate it. Take care. Exhale.